Hi there, this is MJA member Ed, and I'm here to talk to you guys today about a mid-card title and the pros and cons of having a mid-card title. Um, you have to start off with some basic terminology uh, for those of you who don't know. Uh, a mid-card title is a title that is not a main event title, but rather a stepping stone to the main event. Typically it's used to establish younger singles competitors uh, as viable competitors for existing stars and potential main events down the road. Uh, in this instance, the tag team titles will not be considered a mid-card title. Uh, this is basically due to the fact that a tag team match is wrestled so differently than a uh, than a singles match that you would almost call it a gimmick match uh, or a gimmick title because it's just one of those things that you can't really count on because there's so many different styles in the mix when you have a tag team match. Um, so with that said, let's talk about uh, the good things that a mid-card title can bring out. Uh, you can really use a mid-card title to establish a person. Uh, this can best be demonstrated with guys like, you know, uh, Carlito uh, or Randy Orton. Uh, these guys, you know, really got their starts uh, on the U.S. and I.C. titles and were able to feud accordingly with those titles and really, you know, hit the ground running in terms of their characters and personalities. You can also use a mid-card title to reward a person who's been with the company for a while. Um, people like, you know, Christian or uh, Jeff Hardy, uh, Shawn Michaels. Um, these guys, uh, when they first broke away from their tag team uh, partners, eventually wound up feuding over mid-card titles. And um, in doing so, you know, that was their reward, was they were given the title, uh, which really then allowed them to establish themselves as a, as a credible singles competitor. Again, going back to part one of this. Um, the other thing, you know, that a mid-card title is really good for is as a storyline prop. You know, there's there's nothing easier than throwing together a feud over a title. You know, it's a lot tougher to get two people to fight over nothing. You know, you have to come up with crazy storylines, whether it be the guy, you know, is, is looking at my girlfriend funny, or he filled my car with cement, or, uh, you know, he hit me in the head with a bedpan. You know, whatever the case may be. It's a lot easier to just say, I want his title, and it, it just works. So uh, those are the good things that can come out of a mid-card title. Uh, some of the bad things that can come, come out of a mid-card title, uh, you wind up with characters that are based around the title. Uh, the best example I can think of off the top of my head here on this is uh, the Honky Tonk Man. I can't think of a single person who can tell me other than possibly his finishing move, what type of match the Honky Tonk Man wrestled back in the day. Um, was I, know, I, mean, I know he wasn't an aerial artist, but um, you know, was he a ground and pound kind of guy? Was he a technical wrestler? Was he a finesse type of guy? Was he you know, the typical cowardly heel? Nobody can really tell me these things. Um, and you could try this on your own if you like, but... Um, what everyone can tell me is he was the greatest intercontinental champion of all time because that was what he said he was and that's what stuck so you wind up with a character that's based around the title and it just doesn't fly um, another thing that you kinda wind up with uh, is you wind up with characters getting pushed with the IC title who don't really deserve it um, you know most notably that I can think of recently is um, Santino Morella, you know, Boris Alexiev, whatever you want to call him, you know, comes fresh out of OVW, and they they wanted to push the IC title into the you know, you know, down the Italians' throats or whatever when they were on their European tour, and basically devalued it and put it on a guy who kind of sucks, and then he winds up getting injured, like within a year. I mean, you know, who does he think he is, Edge? You know, he can't pull that off. So so now we have to sit there and 
watch him run around in a cast for like a month, and then while he's doing that, they have to flip him from being, uh, you know, a face to a heel, just to make it bearable. You know, he just he didn't deserve a push. You should have brought him in, and gone with it from there. Um, you know, at this point, to me, Santino Morella should be on ECW with Nunzio, uh, pushing the FBI gimmick. I mean, that's how I see it. That's that's just the way it is. So, what it all boils down to is, what do the companies need to do to improve their mid card title pictures? Uh, one of the first things you can do is put fresh talent with that belt. Um, you know, putting people who are long established tends to water down the product uh, in terms of an IC title. Um, you know, things like uh, Jeff Hardy and Umaga uh, are, are kind of a poor way to develop your IC title, mainly because Jeff has had it, what, five times now? Um, you know, he doesn't seem to get beyond it. And, you know, when the IC title is supposed to be used to develop yourself in that regard, that's cool. And, like, if you move on and go to do stuff like that, like Jeff Hardy did against The Undertaker, you know, back in the day for the world title, you know, then it makes that title seem that much more credible. Um, and then you have Umaga who, you know, jobs to John Cena for three months straight and then decides he's going to go after the IC title. Um, you know, it just basically says, you know, he can't get the job done. And so he's going after the mid-card title because that's all he can do. It's just not good for an IC title picture. Um, established stars need to value the title too. Um, guys like Triple H and Shawn Michaels, well-established stars, um, need to care about that title. Um, when when somebody trounces the IC champion uh, like it's nothing, you know that's that's something that devalues that title and devalues that character. Um, you know, Shelton Benjamin having the IC title and beating a guy like Triple H puts value on the IC title. And uh, these are the types of things that you need to look out for when you're booking stuff for this title. Um, the last thing you need to go for is consistency with a mid-card title. Um, all, of, all shows need a mid-card title uh, because of the reasons I talked about before. Uh, ECW needs a TV title, plain and simple. I mean, if they had a low-card title... Um, you know, like a European title or something like that, that would really benefit that show because you have a lot of fairly talented guys not doing much of anything, and then you're coming up with stupid storylines to try and compensate. Um, you know, The Miz and Balls Mahoney fighting over Kelly Kelly, as, as cool as it is to see Balls Mahoney like going for a girl like Kelly Kelly, and believe me, I'm a fan of this storyline, to have the Miz be jealous of Balls Mahoney for getting Kelly Kelly when he's got the other two girls just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. If you threw a title in that one, though, it'd make a lot more sense, and it'd be a lot more entertaining, I'll tell you that much. You know, But the one saving grace of that whole thing is the MVP Matt Hardy feud for the U.S. title right now. That's a phenomenally written uh, you know, feud, and that's uh, really putting some emphasis on the U.S. title over the world title. Uh, which was smart on the WWE's part and Michael Hayes' part, mainly because Kali is so terrible in the ring. Um, so with that said, uh, that is mid-card titles. Take it or leave it. This is MJ Member Ed. Have a good night.